Thanks, Dean. The governor visited New Bern today, and when he did, he saw all this. Not just one, but two homes, the other across the street, flattened by the brute force of Florence. In some cases, that storm surge around here reaching several feet. Now, we have already seen the impact across this area, and really two different stories are playing out. In some cases, folks already looking to the cleanup process, looking to rebuild. In other cases, like those here, folks have no place to call home. Everywhere you look, Florence left its mark. Boats dumped on dry land, river water washed into homes. We've sprayed several times with an anti-mold agent. In some cases, they are already starting the gutting out process, removing the floor and walls. Many count themselves as lucky, saying it could have been worse. Everything we sell is just stuff that we can replace. It's luxury items. At the Franklin Antique Mall, they're clearing everything out, separating what can be kept from what needs to be tossed. We got people here that we don't know who they are helping out today because uh, they want us to be successful. Just to give you a better sense of the power of the storm surge, this trailer here was originally parked way over there in front of the store before the storm began. It was supposed to serve as a sort of buffer against the winds. The governor, who surveyed the damage in New Bern Monday, says the recovery process will last months, possibly even years. Our infrastructure, we've got to help businesses get back on their feet, and we've got to help people. But while some are able to rebuild their homes, others have no home to go back to. The storm surge flattening whole buildings in one neighborhood, a place where people just do not have the money to rebuild. For these people that live here, they're really out of options right now, and um, that's unfortunate. And um, they're, they're going to need help. They really are. Back in this community now, this is a sign that is sitting right next to one of these flattened homes. It reads, yes, we need help. God bless America. And so that begs the question, what happens to these families now? Who will help them? Reporting in Newburn, I'm Kevin Fry. Spectre.